Phenom the Fox, who I believe uh, originated uh, in Texas, mm. and then it has recently moved to Arkansas. Yep. So Phenom definitely uh, not unfamiliar to top eights because he was in top eight of King of the Springs. Too. Absolutely. So he knows a thing or two about coming down here and tangling with the best. Now let's see if he can get over this wall that is Nev. As you know, Nev, one of the best microspaces I've seen in quite some time. But I will say that, man, Phenom and Jason, and of course, Larry Lur. It is the Fox Gauntlet here today. Oh, yes. Three of them here in this top eight. Showing how good this character is. We expect this to be a very a very tedious match. Uh, Nev loves to use the whole stage to move around uh, using the confusion, air dodges, anything that he can to get his opponent off stage in a position to where they're going to air dodge or they have no option left but to use the Firefox so he can spike them. Oh, beautiful punish right there as well. And, yeah, I definitely agree. One thing I really want to touch on with Fino right now is how well his play style is versus Nef. He's getting in. He has this very touch-and-go play yeah. style. This very much this, I'm just going to hit you one or two times, get out when I can. As you know, you don't want to stay in too long on Mewtwo. Sooner or later, he's going to be able to hit you with a down tilt. And then, of course, you know what happens after that. Yeah, fair. Oh. There it is. Who would have known, bro? Oh, okay. That could have been scary business there. Nev possibly uh, sharking out a grab. I think uh, one thing Phenom is going to need to do if he wants to be able to take this match from Nev is to be able to read his air dodges. Yes. You two having uh, the best air dodge in the game. Think so? Oh, man. Do I you mean, count bat within? Do I count bat within? No. Uh, I mean, yeah, it kind of kind of is an air dodge, but I've seen a lot of times where bat within have, uh, actually puts actually, her in a disadvantageous yeah, spot. Puts her in a horrible uh, position. But actually, uh, when I was casting yesterday with a uh, uh, no smoke, ooh, ooh wow, the up smash is going to take him out. But Good he was saying, stuff. Uh, not for the fact that Mewtwo disappears. It's that he's able to act so quick out of his air dodge with the fair. Yeah, and I want to touch on something really quick. I just, I want to touch on like. That last situation there, as Nev ended up losing that first side. That was good footwork by Nev. I like the attempt, the nice run in and out up smash. Yeah. But, man, that was even better patience there by Phenom to just wait it out. Oh, oh my gosh. gosh. And what a way to start game number one. Oh, SD, bro. It happens to the best of us. You know what? And that could be stream jitters. Um, I'm not exactly sure how comfortable Nev is going into, uh, you know, this tournament. This being one of his biggest tournaments in quite some time. Um, but, I mean, uh, it's game number one. He still has a few more games to kind of adjust and adapt. But uh, Phenom definitely showing that he is no stranger to that Mewtwo matchup. Oh, absolutely not. He was comfortable. He knows, he, he knows you're light. All I got to do is up smash. That's all I got to do, man. That's all I got to do to any of my opponents in any Smash game, really. Okay, good stuff there. Nice fall away for it here. I'm going to be very interested to see how both of these characters are going to play against each other in the out of shield uh, phase in this ooh, in this match. Mm -hmm. Nair Let's back see. on stage right now. Good stuff. Oh, whips a grab. Don't ever want to do that. Nev right now kind of slowing this game uh, down dramatically, at least in comparison to game number one. Let's see if Phenon can adjust himself. Ooh, the down tilt. Phenon landing with that Nair there. Okay, throws an uncharged shadow ball, tosses it back at him, hot potato. Yeah, trying to use that down to him. Not able to get anything off of it, though. Mm -hmm. Ooh, He's, okay, good. Trade. Yeah, beautiful trade right there. Good stuff. And beautiful uses there just of the uh, of uh, Fox's down special yeah. as well. I think that's a move that a lot of people sleep on. And more times than not in these high-level situations, you only really see it used to, like, stall out of recovery versus opponents uh, like Mewtwo. But him being able to use it to avoid a frame trap situation just really speaks numbers about his Fox gameplay. Uh-oh. Both these two guys really trying to outspace each other. Good patience by Phenom. Oh, Ooh, my God. He's going to whiff the up smashes, uh, which is going to cause him to get hit by the Shadow Claw, putting himself in a bad position. Mm. Both these that two guys. Fox Illusion is going to get him back. On. Ooh. Uh-oh. That up throw is going to kill Mewtwo having the most devastating up throw in the game. Easily, man. Say hi to Andros for me. <laughs> All right. Good platform pressure. Not a good situation for Nev to be in. Phenom very much aware of that right now. Gets Ooh, the up air. Can he get to? Up air. Now Nev knows that he is that he is up in percent and on stock, most importantly. Mm -hmm. So he is going to play this, I mean, as lame as he can now. You have to, man. And I have to be honest, man, I think the, the quote-unquote lame play style gets a bad rep. I mean, there's yeah. literally no fighting game on the planet where playing aggressive from top to bottom wins games. Oh, yeah. There's going to be brief spurts mm -hmm. and moments, you know, of slow-paced uh, gameplay. The only game I know of that you're supposed to be 
aggressive, aggressive, aggressive is a uh, guilty gear. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, good old anime fighters gets the gets dare. The up smash. All okay. right, we have Phenom sitting at 63%. Uh, definitely uh, something the dash attacker dude can make up. Uh-oh, and speak of the devil right now. Really turning up the jets right here. Uh, oh, ooh, wow. The two. fire is going to clip Nev mm -hmm. going for the back here. Just a little late on the trigger there. Good right stuff. Just, yeah, disappearing right there with the fall away fair. Really trying to bait Phenom in. Gets the up tilt, though. Nair, oh, my God. Bruce Lee, why don't you, man? Just the low percent kung fu. Oh, don't touch me, though. Lock sitting at 90%. Uh, definitely a very dangerous percent for him to be sitting by. Oh, that was so good. Oh, Phenom not letting them take that air dodge from him. He said, I know how you play, man. All right. Phenom Woo. sitting at 90%. But that's just rage that he needs to get this up smash or up air on YouTube. The double down tilt right now. Has him off stage. Ooh, can't quite catch the Fox Illusion. Oh, there's oh, a back air, and that was meaty. Going to kill. Gosh, Foxing at 101%. It's going to kill Mewtwo at 70 with the back air. Well, you know the life you choose when you pick Mewtwo. Mm -hmm. Like, Mewtwo, he gets, a, he gets a glass can. He has a lot of strong low percent combos. He can really combo characters like Fox as well. Mm -hmm. and, a, and a handful of uh, the casters um, as well. But the fact of the matter is you're just so light. Something as simplistic as a back air, as you're not even over 100%. I mean, that can just change the complete tide of battle. Okay, so it looks like we're going to head into this game number three. Let's see if we get a stage change here. Possibly. Um, I mean, I know Smashville is a stage that everybody in Smash should be pretty comfortable on yeah. by now in, in any form of competitive Smash past Melee. Um, but, you know, a stage switch wouldn't hurt too much, but it looks like we're just going so back home here. Take it back. All right. <laughs> game number three. So we're going to start off with a confusion here. Let's try and get Phenom off his toes here. And I think, like, when you play a character like Fox versus Mewtwo, you can always rest easy. That all I really have to do is hit you once or twice to get you killed. You have to work a little bit harder than I do on stage and off stage. And then the cer certain uh, areas where he should have capitalized in, like that back air, yeah. being off the mark, that can just really kill your momentum. Yeah, we have the back air off the mark. There were a couple of Fox illusions where he wanted to get fares on, uh, wasn't able to get the timing on him correct. Mm -hmm. Okay. Again, more micro spacing. Good stuff there. Punishes the up tilt. Gets the rapid jab, nothing too crazy. Yeah, get that free damage. Get the easy damage, man. Yeah. Okay, try to go for that trot yeah, in and out. Um, very interesting, though. On the ledge of the stage, not a good situation for you to be in at all. Oh. All right, Fox needs to be very careful. A grab and some pummels is going to be a stock. Yeah, and I think one good way that Phenom's, like, trying to nullify that is by doing fall away aerials or yeah. doing dares that are going to cross them up, not wanting to get grabs. Okay. Right there. Good He's reaction. Send them off stage. He's going to make it back with the Fox illusion, though. And that up throw is going to take Fox out. Nev sitting at 56%. Uh, yeah. Kind of the same situation that he was sitting in in the last game, but he's at a bit lower percent. So uh, let's see if he's able to get some more damage before uh, Phenom's able to take this first stock here. Definitely a pretty comfortable lead right now, but good stuff by Phenom here just chiseling away at it. Nev being able to get that first stock there, just catching that neutral get up with the up throw. Oh, don't oh touch me. He's going to use that fear to give him some space up there on that platform. Look at him. Good stuff there. Nice movement by Phenom. Okay. Ooh, in that back here. Give him space to get back onto the stage safely. Mm, Tomahawk, yeah, definitely. Now, Fox is one of those characters Oh, I feel like the longer you live against Fox, the better, because you don't have to worry about dying from a Fox kill. Mm -mm. Yeah, he really has to fish for something. Ooh. Good stuff there, not giving him that uh that ledge trump. Being on looking to scout out um, that next move there, up there on that top platform, possibly looking for a back here. And the movement from this Mewtwo is crisp. Oh, gosh, he jumps right into the Shadow Ball. We have Nev uh, reading that uh, reading that jump there. Uh, I'm not too sure what Phenom was going for. I saw a leg come out. Uh, maybe he was expecting Nev to come in for an attack, but Nev uh, played a calm, cool, collected Shadow Ball kill. Shadow Ball definitely killed, man. Uh, one of those rare instances where the entire match just kind of goes your way. The overall pacing, just yeah. everything just was really much um, in Nev's favor. But let's see what Phenom can do to respond. Okay, so I like this pick of Final Destination. Phenom was not a fan of Nev sitting on that platform and having time to think. 
And that platform ultimately was his demise in that last match because Neb was sitting on that platform and Phenom tried to get him off of it, uh, trying to get him off of it, causing him to get hit by that Shadow Ball. Mm -hmm. Both of these two characters really going to struggle to land here on this stage. It seems like right now Phenom has Neb against the ropes and the body blows are starting to come out. That's a re-grab. Good stuff there using the Nair to Ooh, get gosh. out of that. Nair got him off stage. Hits with the fair. This Nair is putting in work. Oh, gosh. Nair is such an amazing move, uh, especially against Shield, man. Okay. Good stuff. Using that uh, that teleport to snap the ledge as quickly as possible. Nev uses back throw to give himself uh, some stage positioning here. Mewtwo uh, really not getting too much out of the throw combo game. Uh, he has that forward throw that looks, I mean, just amazingly cool and does a good amount of damage just like that fair, taking Phenom's first stock. Yep. Nev sitting at 73%. 73%. Very reminiscent of what we've seen in the last game. This could be the turnaround we need. Uh-oh. Okay. Got a lot of room to work with here. So you can see a lot of these dash attacks coming a mile away. Really going to have to switch up the pro chopsons. Back air. Back air has not been good for Mewtwo's health. Shout out to Phenom for shielding the hole in there and getting away. Yeah. Ooh, down Task tilt, easier Nair. said than done. Oh, doesn't go for the forward air that time. Phenom like able to answer uh, with the Nair. Man, it is so crazy that I've watched Mewtwo for so long. It doesn't surprise me when that tail goes to the stage and hits you. I mean, just something that shouldn't happen, but it does. Yep. Okay, good fall away in there, and I like the little uh, trots in and out here from both of these two guys, most uh, specifically Nev. The Phenom, he seems to be playing very calm right now. Uh, normally, most players are being a panicking, ooh, a panicking state, but he stayed patient and got that back air that has been coming in so clutch for him this set. Calm, cool, and collected. Slow and steady. He's definitely going to win the race here. Good stuff snapping leads. Nev can't quite get to the edge guard in time. Oh, yes. I like how he realized that he wasn't going to be able to get to the edge guard in time, so he just stayed on stage. A lot of people would have still tried to go off and then lost stage position. Mm -hmm. Again, another Fair. fall away forwarder, yeah. Really catching these over extensions right now by Phenom. He's really going to have to switch things up. And that fair is almost killing. Phenom sitting at 108%, and he caught that air dodge. That one's not going to kill, though. Oh, gosh. Oh, God. That's going to kill. RIP Phenom. Yeah, definitely, man. Good spacing there by both of the two players, man, but just even better spacing um, by Nev. Being able to catch a lot of those Fox losers that we've seen in game number one, even though things didn't quite go his way, things definitely are now. Yeah, those first couple of games uh, when Phenom would use the Fox Illusion, it would put himself in a great position, or he would hit Nev, which would get him in the air, mm -hmm. even the opportunity to follow up with up airs, back airs, and things of that sort. But Nev uh, was actually blocking these Fox Illusions, or Phenom was just you know, going too far to where he's not getting that perfect shield, uh, not shield, stage position. Oh, for it. sure. Definitely, you know, you can only air dodge so much. Oh, yes. And with how, uh, you know, with how much maneuverability that Fox has in the air, he can really get the aerial combo started up. You started to see a lot of short hop uh, Nair, a lot of short hop backers that just really got under Nev's skin. But unfortunately for Phenom, we find ourselves here, despite those first two very strong performances, in a game five situation. And then you start to wonder, uh, I mean, if the, ooh, if the nerves or frustration uh, have came into a factor, because those first matches, we did not see air dodges from Phenom. Absolutely We saw not. this man jumping away. But these last two matches, we have seen air dodges, which have resulted in him getting hit by Shadow Claw. And it's hard not to air dodge on a stage like this. I mean, let's be honest, Alex. We don't have any platforms. It's really difficult to recover. You got a character like Mewtwo who can just throw a back air forward or a hell, possibly even Nair to keep you at bay. Yeah. You get very comfortable air dodging here. Uh-oh. Ooh, and I grab. Ooh. Oh, gosh. Anytime you see a fox just run right into you, man, you just don't know what to do. You better just stand there and you chill. Just stand there and chill. Don't jump. <laughs> oh, definitely don't. He'll turn into Mario real quick. <laughs> okay. Oh. Okay, fall away. Nair runs right up, up smash. That's man. exactly what I was talking about. Must stay in your shield. Fox is no joke. Mm -hmm. Okay, oh, a bit of an aggressive uh, approach right there. Phenom answering back accordingly. Dash attack. He's going to put on some very much needed damage. Right now, Nev uh, needs to figure something out to take this stock here at a reasonable percent. Ooh, I understand that he was going to get right up and uh, possibly go for it. And he gets the back air, but oh. Phenom gets the tech. If you're going to main Fox, that is something you have to do. Yeah, you have got to get comfortable teching. A character like Mewtwo is going to come out there after it every time. Uh-oh. Oh, a little late there on the grab. Ended up rolling out of that situation. I'm starting to 
um, you know, kind of wonder if a lot of these rolls are actually supposed to be like shield approaches. Uh -huh. I can definitely see that as being a thing. Ooh, the up tilt, up air, 76%, mm. mm. and that is almost a dead Mewtwo. Oh, oh, he's filled himself. Good stuff, Amphrey, back there with the fair. He was looking for the tech read. Oh, gosh, Fox with these short hops. Man, you're just expecting the back air to come out. Oh, gosh, oh, with the up wow. smash. Comes out and takes out Nev. All right. Uh, that's what we like to see here in top eight, uh, some game five action.